In just two weeks, we've seen two deadly home fires. Yeah, the latest you saw right here yesterday morning is breaking news. In fact, a Phoenix apartment went up in flames, killing a man. Captain George Thames with the Mesa Fire Department is joining us this morning. Hey, good morning, Captain. So let me ask you this to start with. If you have a small fire break out in your house, when should you try and tackle it on your own? And when should you just run and call for help? Well, uh, we don't recommend anybody put out their own fires because they can only make them worse. And uh, we really believe that uh, the best way to do it is to get out of the home, call 911 and leave that, uh, leave that work to us. We have all the proper equipment and we also have uh, all of our safety uh, uh, protection. And Captain, if you would, when we talked to you back in our 5 a.m. hour, you've got a diagram there of a house. Can you go through uh, what parents should be talking about, you know, with their kids, with people in the house, in terms of if a fire happens, what should you do, how should you get out? Well, what we recommend is that uh, we turn this into a, a, a family event and try to make it fun. And uh, we talk about make sh making sure that we have two uh, exit points in the house, and Todd will point out over here uh, that we've got uh, these two. Uh, these two exit points that we uh, would use maybe in a living room or a kitchen and uh, make sure you have working smoke detectors you can check those every month and uh, uh, occasionally if you have a second floor uh, home it's a good idea to have ladders for the other doors or the other windows rather what's the biggest mistake you see people making I think the biggest mistake people make is the failure to plan um, not planning an event like this means that there's chaos and confusion happening already and uh, not having a plan makes it a lot worse and no one really knows what to do. And Captain, what are the hidden dangers out there in homes that can spark fires? Well, uh, the hidden dangers, obviously, the, there's the obvious ones of candles and, and stoves and so forth. But electrical hazards uh, are, are fire danger. Dryers uh, that maybe don't have uh, their lint screens checked are, are also hidden dangers. But again, what we really focus on is doing the planning beforehand. And we have a fantastic fire and life safety uh, division. And uh, Tanner here is holding some of the materials that are available through our fire and life safety division that help people put together a good plan. All right, Captain, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Important safety information from Mesa Fire, and you can always head to our website and click links on 12 if you'd like more of that. All right, thanks, Captain.